Okay, here we go. First print on the Porta B printer. Here goes nothing. Looks like it's making its raft. Yeah, we can see here that it totally screwed up that part of the raft. But the rest of it looks pretty good. Okay, starting to print the part now. On top of a pretty ugly raft. We'll see how this goes. Here's the second layer. It appears to be cross hatching. Okay, this is the third layer. It's starting to look pretty good. I'm very curious to see how it's going to close off this honeycomb mesh. I think it should start closing it off pretty soon. Okay, here it is trying to fill in that honeycomb mesh. Alright, it's just finishing up the wall. Done. I just gotta figure out how I get this thing off. All right, let's see how it measures up. Should be exactly one inch. It's about five thousandths undersized. Okay, so here's one thing I noticed. The circles, they're kind of egg-shaped. It's gonna be hard to see here. All right, so here's some progress on my second print. And just like the first part, the circles seem to be very egg-shaped. Okay, I just started the third print. Okay, it's starting to look very cube-like. Probably really close to being done. Okay, so this right here is the first part that I printed on this Portaby, and I had some issues with the circles weren't printing circular, they're kind of egg-shaped, it's probably hard to see in the video, and the vertical walls were actually not quite so vertical, they lean forward, and it's a little more noticeable when you set it up onto its vertical wall, you can see that it's now tilting backwards. Um, so I made a few other test prints with that same setup and I just confirmed that it was printing such that the parts were leaning forward. There's no software calibration on this machine so I ended up just calibrating the hardware by just making adjustments and using my dial calipers um, to take measurements. This is the most recent part after making some changes. I'm fairly impressed with the circles. They're much more circular now. And the vertical walls are much more true. And you can tell the difference between this first part I printed right here and this new part. When you sit them down next to each other, you can see how much more accurate this new part is. So I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, there's the to be printer and my most recent print. Print quality looks pretty awesome. Alright, thanks for watching. See ya!